Welcome to Coffee Break. My name is Nir Bashan. I am the McGraw-Hill author of a book called The Creator Mindset. I am so excited to have fellow McGraw-Hill author Paul Riley here. He wrote a book called Selling Through Tough Times, Grow Your Profits and Mental Resilience Through Any Downturn. Paul, welcome to the show. Hey, Nir, thanks for having me on the show, man. It's, it's a privilege. I'm glad to sit down with you. I am so happy you're here, Paul. We really need this book right now. We are going through some tough times. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about why this book is so important. This book, Selling Through Tough Times, it's an important message right now because it touches on a topic that most sales books don't cover, and that's the mental side of selling, um, especially selling through any type of downturn. Uh, in our research, we found you know tough times can fall on any salesperson, whether you're brand new to sales, whether you're in a sales slump, whether your industry is facing tough times or we're facing a recession, everyone faces tough times. And during uh, those tough times, how you manage the mental side of it is going to determine how, how well you're going to be able to perform both during and after that tough time surpasses. Paul, so important to talk about mental health and sales. I don't think many people are doing it, and God bless you for covering it. Give us one tip of how we can manage our mental health in a downturn as salespeople. You know, oh gosh, narrowing it down to one tip, that'll be tough, but there is one of my favorite tips, um, you know, as an author, right, you love all your material like you love all your children, but there is, there is this one little piece that kind of came to me and, and it came to me actually when I was taking a walk one evening and I experienced a, a, a little bit of adversity. My, my headphones weren't working properly and I was frustrated, right? It's something mild, but I thought about it. I thought, okay, what is my first response to adversity when I face it? And I thought about that from a salesperson's perspective. And what I soon realized is how we manage our first response to adversity will determine our mental resilience. So in the book, we talk about managing your very first response. There are three types of salespeople. There are salespeople who experience adversity and they quickly give up. There's also salespeople on the other end of the perspective. When they face tough times or adversity, they just plow right through them. Most people fall into the middle category, which is they face adversity, they sit around, complain about it, wallow in self-pity, they waste time, and then eventually they move on. All right, my goal is to help those individuals in the middle, and we can help them by monitoring our first response to adversity. So what I suggest to salespeople is throughout the day, Think about adversity that you will experience. You know, maybe your CRM isn't working properly. Maybe you get a prospect isn't calling you back. Maybe you lost a sale. Maybe you blew a presentation. Whatever adversity you experience, monitor your first response. And by monitoring it, you're going to improve on it and become better. Love it. Life is so much more about how you react to something rather right. than what ends up happening to you. Paul, this is brilliant. You talk a little bit about the in the book about mistakes during tough times and how to deal with mistakes. Can you elaborate a little bit? Yeah, gosh, you know, the, the biggest mistake we, we face in any tough time and the biggest mistake salespeople make is, is not losing a sale. That happens. It's losing hope. That, that's the one piece that is harder to, to maintain is that, is that hopeful feeling that things are going to get better. And so as a salesperson, when you go through tough times, you, you have to embrace that, that unwavering belief that things are going to get better, that you're going to get through this. We may not know at what time we're going to get through it, but we have to maintain that hope. And holding on to that hope is going to help us persevere through that tough time. So important, Paul, especially with everything going on today. Okay, so creativity, my pet favorite subject ever. Paul, how does this book make us more creative? Wow. The, uh, there's a couple segments in the book where we talk about being opportunistic. And, and one thing we find is that salespeople during tough times, there's some that thrive. There's others that merely survive. The ones that are going to thrive creatively find ways to solve their customers' problems. They find a way to look at the challenges they face and they find the opportunity within the challenge or within the problem. It's about being creative. Um, and this book, it's filled with examples of how salespeople have creatively solved problems. And one of which is, is 
facing the current supply constraints that we have. I've got one example of how a salesperson creatively was able to find product to provide their customer in a timely manner. Creativity is absolutely critical. And as a salesperson, you've got to view the world through the eyes of the customer to understand how they define value and how you can creatively come and deliver on how they define value. Super, super cool, Paul. My guest again is Paul Riley. His book is called Selling Through Tough Times, Grow Your Profits and Mental Resilience Through Any Downturn. Go get a copy of this. It is really, really great. Thank you so much, Paul, for being on Coffee Break today. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.